Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Um, I wanted to quickly uh, come up here and sneak my uh, three for Thursday in uh, to uh, show you guys um, my three for Thursday. But just to let you guys know, uh, just a little update on what's going on around here. Um, I have a well guy coming out to my house. I have well water here um, and uh, we need a new well. And it's going to cost, uh, we've been getting estimates, but the cheapest we have fi found is $3,500. So, um, we got to put out $3,500, uh, for a new well. And, uh, right now it's a necessity. So I'm waiting on the gentleman to come here now to talk it over with him and, uh, see when he could set it up to do it and all this other stuff and I got to get back outside and I have to get all this wood put away. I've got a big gigantic pile of wood uh, that I split last year that's not put away. Um, the grass needs to get cut. It's super high, real high. It grows like weeds. Um, so that's, that's another thing. Everything's got to get weed whacked all around the fence. It's like real high. Um, yeah, and there's like 20 other things that's on my list, but the big thing is, uh, getting this well taken care of. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know as far as what's going to happen with that. Um, you know, it's just, I told my wife, I said, you know, to have a house this big, it's a big expense. You know what I mean? It's a big expense. We should really consider on downsizing. We do not need this big house. It's just her and I. I can I can understand if there was other people in the household and I had a big family. That's not the case. The case is it's just me, her, and the two dogs. That is where we that's what we have this big house for. So anyway, um, I'm not going to keep you guys. I'm not going to cry on your shoulders. I got my three for Thursday, and everything will get figured out eventually, I guess. Uh, but she's riding me hard, like about everything. Um, now that this came up, now that this came up, it's like, oh, right away, it's like, oh, we can't, we can't get this. We can't do this. Don't forget, we can't go out to eat as much now for a while. We can't... Uh, uh, we can't, we can't, we can't. That's all I've been hearing. Oh, we can't do this now. You know, this frustrating, you know what I mean? So anyway, oh, and the house needs to get power washed. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it this year because I cannot climb them high peaks. I used to do it for years, dancing around on them peaks. My three for Thursday, guys, is um, sin cut knives. I've got my, I've got three uh, sin cuts out that um, dirty only knives, budget knives I buy, and Kubi. So if I don't have a Kubi on me, it's a sin cut. Um, this one is the uh, episode. This is the sin cut, sin cut episode, and um, I couldn't love a knife more. Uh, than this one. I mean, you could see how thin the stock is on this. Really, really super thin, pointy, uh, really, really aggressive. You've got this real nice cut swedge all the way down it. Um, it's just a very, very aggressive piece. You've got this jimping here that works perfectly. Your whole thumb, your whole thumb will fit into that divot. And when I tell you that is comfortable and you are locked in, you are locked in to that position there. Nobody can get that or wrestle that out of your hand. No one. Um, it's a liner lock. It's a liner lock and it runs um, 9CR13. It's got 9CR on it. Good steel, decent steel. Action on it is superb. I mean, it's very, very snappy. Um, it's just a one shake shot and she's put away, but coming out's great. You can see just a one boop. She's in it's coming out just with, I mean, it's like assisted 
That's, that's the only way I could explain it. They have, um, um, they um, recessed all the liners to relieve the weight. So they gave you a bunch, they got a bunch of holes in there uh, for cutouts to relieve the weight. And when I tell you this thing is very, very light, very light. It's just an awesome piece. Um, it comes in at $47, if you guys are interested. $47 uh, bucks for that guy there. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, let's move on to this guy here. This is the, uh, the sin cut. I don't know what it is. Um, let's see. Um, hold on one minute, guys. Bear with me, please. Yeah, it's the Sinka Sachi. It's the Sinka Sachi. And um, just this is a button lock, and I love this blade. This is just a fantastic uh, blade. All $45. You got a button lock here, and you can see it's just magnificent. All broken, real nice and smooth. Um, action on it. You really can't get any, you can't get no better than um, the action on this piece. It's just a fantastic piece. This is one of my go-tos. This is one of my go-to knives that I love to carry on me because it's just, I mean, it's wicked. It's really, really a cool piece, guys. The blade alone um, is just really a nice blade shape. You've got this beautiful uh, uh, satin blade. Look how beautiful that blade is. Button lock. Um, they do um, relief all the um, uh, liners for weight relief on all of them. They do that. See how nice they cut out for uh, weight relief. Um, cut pocket clip, deep pocket clip there. They give you that standard uh, sin cut pocket clip. That's my only gripe is I just wish that they would just upgrade to a milled clip. And then this thing would be fire. It would just be fire if they just upgraded uh, from these um, ugly stamped out clips. Because that's what they are. They're just stamped out clips. They're ugly. Um, but I can get over that because this knife is so fantastic. Um, it's just a good one. Like I said, um, I won't buy another uh, budget knife. If it's not sin cut or Kubi, you won't find it. I mean, I've got, from years ago, I've got some budget pieces, but when I found uh, Sin Cut and Kubi, and before them, I had, um, I was collecting Civivi. You know what I mean? But now I even stopped collecting Civivi you, because Sin Cut is cheaper than Civivi, and um, it's the same knife. It's the same thing. This guy here has got very, very special meaning to me. Um, I'm first off, right off the bat, I'm gonna highly, highly recommend this knife here. This is the knife that you guys want. Um, you guys need this knife, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a fantastic blade uh, shape. It's absolutely gorgeous, the blade. The size of it is absolutely fantastic. Everything about this is fantastic. Um, forgot the name let's see the name of this guy uh this is the um hold on a minute guys it's the scepter that's right this is the same cut scepter now right off the bat what makes this one special and i don't use it that much because uh neves knives um jared um you guys all know neves knives he sent this to me, and when he sent it to me, he put his edge. Now, why isn't it going to focus? He put his edge on this knife, and when I tell you, when I tell you it's the most sharpest uh, piece, and when you cut with this, it's an experience that... I, I, that I've never experienced before because I'm used to cutting on 
the way my knives are sharpened. And I think that my knives have a nice edge on them and they cut real nice. And yes, they do. But what I'm saying is this edge here is on another level, guys, as far as cutting wise. It's on another level. Try I'm trying to get you close in to that uh, edge. Look at that edge. Look at that. And it's, it's, it's a wicked, wicked cutter. So I don't use this one all that much uh, just because it's got special meaning. I was going to buy another one, just a standard scepter. Uh, you could get these all day and night. They all come in at 45 bucks, and um, you, won't, you won't go wrong. You can't go wrong with getting one of these. It's another uh, liner lock, fantastic liner lock. Uh, action is just absolutely uh, stellar, man. I mean, you can see it is absolutely uh, money, the action. When you tap on that uh, flipper, I mean, she rock. It's like a rocket ship flying out of that thing. But if you need a good EDC knife is what I'm saying, this is where you want to be. This is the Sin Cut Scepter, and it's just a bang-up piece, man. Again, with the stamped-out clip, you can get over that because the knife is so good. They make the knives so good, so you kind of overlook that ugly uh, stamped-out clip. So you kind of overlook that. But everything else about the knife is just, I mean, it's that blade shape. Look at that blade shape. I mean, it's just there. It's just there. Um, it's a great piece. It's a great piece. Um, it's just, Sin Cut makes a, a quality, quality, quality knife. Anyway, guys, there you go. Yeah, that's my three for Thursday. Um, I hope that you like checking them out. Um, I'm going to get doing something around here because uh, the tensions are very, very high at this point. So we'll figure it out. But anyway, you guys be good. Be well. Be safe. I'll catch you on... Um, I'll catch you on the next one. I think the guy is here as we're speaking. All right, guys. You guys be good. Be well. Be safe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.